kilos to 14. The water pipe was installed yesterday working very well except we have a slight problem because the pressure is not strong enough because our pipe goes around the road up and down so we just found out here we have two pipes that are going into filling barrels of water for the worker CR and that is reducing a lot of the pressure to make the water go around and up into the tanks so there's water flow but not strong enough to go up here so we are changing the pipe to go around and we're gonna try to lift it up and to see how the water flow is into the tank now that's what the guys are doing they're moving all right guys we need to have the line over here to the side not in the middle okay so the SJ company is here so they're gonna attach the big window in front of uh, um, our master bedroom and he can't wait because oh it's the final one yeah the final one and we're able to move in uh, in a master bedroom hopefully before this in the end, end of the month time. yeah end of the month <coughs> oh, bless you bless you oh my god and also we ready our drone because there's a uh, something fire again going on there and we flew our drone and oh good it's pretty oh, far good. away so it's very good actually to use the drone to uh, check out what's happening around and i'm even more super happy that the uh firewall is coming up on this side at least so we're all prepared something happens fire hoses water water is coming in good now Let's check out the window. The final one. What's going on? For the water. <laughs> Look at that. This is the source for our Purok. Connecting into the big one. Very important to dig it under, keep the uh, pipe safe. Ah, how, how many times we see the pipes on the road, guys? Only five minutes to dig this. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Mm -hmm. 
I'm so extremely happy because uh, when we were up uh, where the water source starts uh, and they opened it, there was so much water flowing out, even if it's so dry. And uh, knowing that in daytime, the water is still coming and uh, having our own pipe now is gonna be a game changer for us. A lot of ease of mind with the water situation. Oh, super happy, super happy. But one day we might do a drill hole somewhere in the creek below the house. I'm very sure there's a good water source there. But in the meantime, we connect to the mountain. Hey, that's really strong. Nice one. Thank you guys. That was amazing. Know you. I knew it was just the piping. So here's the moment of truth. Normally in daytime for the last two months or so, three, four, five maybe, no water in daytime. Oh, it's already full. Wow, that's running fast. We got water, guys, we got water. <laughs> it was only the pipe I knew it. Always trust the locals. They told us from the beginning there was never ever dry from the mountain. It's always water. And this could be a better proof of it because we haven't had a single rain of drop for months. The water is so fast. Already filled up the tanks. Yeah. This is such a good news. Dinner time, we got Dorado or dolphin fish. Tinola. Fish soup. Tinola. Tinola, yeah. Mm. This is one of the best fish. Mm. Very cheap, 180 per kilo. It's the day after and I'm going off to Mariwasa pick up uh, 25 bags of Adisi. We have about 50 of them still left in the shop. Uh, this truck can carry about 25, 30 I would say and uh, yeah, bring it up. Six thousand liters. <laughs> Good morning, Joe. Oh, look at that. Two thousand more. That's the new water line here. This one. Ah, uh, this is the new one, right? Yeah, six hundred meters exactly. So we got one roll spare. Okay. But much better this line. This one is not so good. Uh, this is same size, one half, but that one is this is smaller. <laughs> Stronger.
Okay, super happy that uh, the water is flowing already full tanks, but check this out. The big windows in the master bedroom are in. Ta-da! What are you doing? Oh yeah, we gotta get the curtains. <laughs> or we're totally exposed. <laughs> so, glass to glass. And they started to um, do their filling here in between the silicon. The guys from ESJ, super good. If you're in uh, Domagete, I highly recommend them for glass. Uh, they are staying here overnight, actually, three nights with us, so three days. For now, we need electricity on the ground floor. Need to connect that so we can have the light sockets. And then there's another glass here. They also installed this one here in the uh, bathroom. Coming along nicely, and the final film. Slowly but surely, get in there. Hello. Hello. It's echoing because there's nothing in here yet. Maybe cabinet or something. There's no really wood. Everything is cement. Slight echo. Oh, why am I here? From another side. Tree of life. I actually enjoyed these uh, smaller coconuts quite a lot. More fuzzy, more sweet. Have a drink. Perfect. Ah, this is the best. So good. And the meat I always give to the boys. Are you guys ready? You guys want the coconut meat? You want the coconut? Go down, go. Go down. Set. Right. Set. Yes. Enjoy! Yum yum! Jake, yum yum! Hey! <laughs> we just collected uh, tomatoes and they're growing quite nicely, I'll show you in a second. But uh, the comparison from where we were by the beach and our previous home, uh, we could never get them this to that size or this red and perfect but here it seems to be uh, growing a lot more easier i don't know maybe it's the soil who knows anyways breakfast time what we're doing is uh, we're trying to remove all the water and then we do the i think we're supposed to be to put a um tiles but now we're gonna do the waterproofing because waterproofing is white color so i think it's easy the reason why we want to put that is for us to know how deep is the water now, you know, the level. Yeah. But we need a small enough human to go in there. <laughs> but oh! <laughs> Perfect, just in time. <laughs> we need your help, Barud. <laughs> You're the only one. You're the selected one. And this is our new water pump. So we're gonna connect electricity here. We're gonna make a small pump pause around it. And then this machine here is gonna drain water out of it and use it as well for water the plants, etc. Yeah. Yeah. But now we have a big event coming up big project we're going down to the highway to meet up with uh, road construction guys that work for the province of negros oriental 
So uh, we're getting borrowed the equipment from the provincial government and uh, we have to go down and show them the way up. So we're getting massive machinery to fix our road chair. Yes, finally. Okay, let's go down. <laughs> so we're bringing Barut and Brian with us because we have to bring uh, that stick and along to the ray. I don't know how big the trucks are, but uh, we have to be careful with the electric wires. So let's go down now. Almost there. Philippines, get it done. Got a fuel up and then uh, they drive up in the land. Now we're filling up the grader, so it's about 100 meter each machine. And after that, we're off to Shaton to pick up more trucks and one loader. This is super cool. We're in Shaton town now and I just visited the uh, tourism office. Now we're waiting on my neighbor to arrive. And then we should be able to pick up the guys for the... I see the biggest shoe I've ever seen in my life. That's a huge shoe. Look at that shoe. Nice one. Okay, so now we gotta go find where the trucks are parked. We got massive loader, two dump trucks, ro uh, roller and a grader. But we're about one hour distance from uh, Dawen. So now we guys have to drive all the way there. They wanna start working today. No hesitation. That's awesome. Okay, let's go fuel up these guys and uh, back to Dawen. Day one complete, road budgeting, Baranga Road, six meters, awesome. So let's see in the next coming days with all the gravel and sand because we're turning this muddy clayish road into a road that we can actually drive when it rains. That's the first step. And then cement, hopefully soon, once the gravel is here. Ooh, what a crazy day coming to an end. Never a dull day in my life, <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you that. Darn, come here, come here, come here, boy, come here. Good boy, yes. <laughs> I thought, wow. <laughs> Hello, good boy. Here we go, started to gravel and sand the road on the tippity top. It's the day after 9 o'clock and the guys are already started to uh, get from the source, so maybe we'll check out the source material. Okay, I think that's it from the video, uh, so much is going on. And uh, we'll keep you updated in the next one how this uh, process of filling up the road with proper material because it, I don't know if you know guys clay is like more slippery than ice because on ice with the nails you can at least get some traction with nails and uh, clay there's nothing it just slides <laughs> so getting some uh, gravels and rocks that's the first step and then hopefully we can uh, ask the uh, Baranga captain to submit to uh, cement at least the groundwork will be done and we will yeah be able to go in the car out here if it rains but in the meanwhile we can use the bike always until next time peace out